this airplane was designed to investigate and study flight and design research problems at supersonic speeds and extreme altitudes. The X-2 has an overall length of 44 feet and a wingspan of 34 feet. It has a launching weight of approximately 24,000 pounds and a landing weight of 10,500. Because of the high temperatures expected during peak performance, the fuselage was constructed of K-Monel metal, the wings and tail of stainless steel. The entire pressurized nose of the airplane is a capsule which can be explosively jettisoned for emergency escape. The circular arc airfoil wings have 40 degrees of sweep back. Leading and trailing edge flaps and fences are used to maintain as low a landing speed as possible. The X-2 will use an irreversible, fully powered control system for the ailerons and the stabilizer. During high-speed flight, the rudder and elevator will be locked. For loading the X-2 into the carrier aircraft, the B-50 is mounted on a hoist so that the smaller research craft can be moved into position. This attitude is necessary to accommodate the tail of the X-2. Mounted on a dolly, the airplane is rolled under the B-50 and position maintained while the carrier aircraft is lowered to receive its cargo. These scenes depict the actual loading procedure which requires over an hour to complete. When the X-2 is completely stowed, the dolly is pulled away and the B-50 can then be lowered to the ground position. The primary landing gear of the X-2 is a single retractable skid. Auxiliary wingtip skids and a nose wheel stabilize the aircraft on the ground. At 0600, just before takeoff, a final briefing is held between the Bell test pilot and the B-50 crew. For the initial glide flight, ballast was used in place of the Curtis Wright rocket engine, which is to be installed in the aft fuselage. This engine will have a maximum thrust of 15,000 pounds and can be throttled between 2,500 and 15,000 pounds. A T-33 chase plane takes off for its escort mission. Throughout the entire flight, this aircraft will advise the X-2 pilot as to the behavior of his airplane. From here on, you will hear the actual radio conversation as recorded during the flight.
Mr. Thompson. Ed. This is QC. We're going to uh, start uh, putting a uh, step in now. Roger. Passing through 18,000. Uh, Roger. We are at item 83. Item 83 on the checklist. This initial flight of the X-2 airplane was considered successful. The Glide flight test program will continue and will be followed by powered flights in 1953. 